Hi, my name is Dan and I'm one of the DT evangelists here at Digital Tutors. In this video, we're going to look at a question from one of our users, Pyro2011, on an issue that they came across while going through the rendering interiors with Menelray and Maya2011 course. So to illustrate this, I have the final scene from the rendering interiors with uh, Menelray and Maya2011 course. And actually what I've done is I've gone ahead and uh, batch rendered out what this scene looks like right now. So if we were to take a look at what our render looks like, we can see that the result that we're getting is our render is really, really bright. And that's really not uh, what we would expect to get when we open up this scene and render it out. Now the reason that this is rendering out really bright is because this particular scene was set up using some real-world light data through some IES files. So we'll need to go in and make sure that those IES files are still hooked up in order to make sure that our lights are giving us the results that we would expect to get. So I'm going to hop into my Hypershade here. Let's go into our Lights tab. We can see we have a series of lights that have been set up uh, throughout this course. So I'm going to select one of these lights here, and if we were to open up the Attribute Editor, we'll notice that we'll get our Metal Ray Light Profile. So if we were to open that up, we can find the IES file that's been hooked into this uh, Metal Ray Light Profile. So for this particular one, it's the Hanging Lights. And it's also showing that it's coming in um, in this directory here that I don't actually have on my hard drive. So basically what it's doing is it can't find this IES file. Um, so our lights that were set up um, in such a way to actually work with this IES file um, are not really working as we would expect. So we'll need to hook back in this IES. So I'll just click on that there and uh, let's move up. We'll find the IES files with the project files for the rendering interiors with Metal Ray and Maya course. So this one here is the uh, hanging lights. So I'll choose my hanging lights IES file, open that up. And we'll want to come in and make sure that we hook them up for our other lights as well. So um, we have actually three profiles, each using a different IES file. We've already hooked up this profile here. So we can find the lights that are using a different profile. This one here, Metal Light Profile 1, is using our main lights IES file. So we'll want to hook this one in, and this will be into the uh, main lights IES file here. Go ahead and open that up, and we'll want to find the lights that are using our last uh, profile. So I'll just come in here and find it. Oh, here we go, the stove light. So we can see this is uh, Metal Ray Light Profile 3. So this is the third profile, and once again, um, it's pointing to a location that I don't have on my hard drive here, so we'll want to relink this IES file. So I'll just come in here and relink this to the stove light. Go ahead and open that up. Um, now, I'm going to go ahead and batch render this back out, but before I do that, I'm going to come into my render settings real quick and just get rid of this uh, so it won't overwrite my uh, file that I had already rendered. So that way we can compare the two. So let's come back in and batch render this out. And I'm going to go ahead and pause the video uh, while this renders. All right, so uh, my render has finished. So I'm going to hop into my Explorer here. And we can see I have this interior render. So if I open this up here, we can see the result that we're getting is we're getting this really nicely rendered scene uh, because our lights are actually be able, being able to utilize that real world light data that we had set them up to uh, be able to use. So before we had this really bright and washed out scene, by, but by simply coming in and relinking our IES files, we're able to get a really nicely rendered scene um, using that real world light data that we uh, set up our lights to use. So it's important to keep in mind that when we do have our lights set up to use things like IES files, if we lose that connection to those IES files, then we're going to get some unexpected results in our renders. Now, if you want to look more in-depth on how the lighting and rendering for this scene was set up, check out the Rendering Interiors with Menelray and Maya 2011 course.